What's up, guys, and welcome to your App Store update for Friday, February 22nd. I am Justin Davis. I am joined by the Raging Canadian. Oh, my God. That's, it's oh, you. yeah, I should say my name at yeah. this part. This is the part where I say my name. Okay, Charles on yet. Yes, hi. You are Charles on yet. Destin yep. has been doing these with me, so sorry if you were expecting him. Um, you know. I am not as I'm not as good as Destin. Well, so. you're taller. It's true. And more Canadian. <laughs> um, Actually, well... That's debatable. <laughs> You're equal amounts of Canadian. <laughs> so the App Store update compiles all the game launches, uh, price drops, and updates for any given day. So this is Friday, February 22nd. we got a bunch of games to get through. So, uh, Charlie, let's just jump right in. Oh, my God. What are we playing right now? We are taking a look at a game called Spunk and Moxie. That's the two characters' names. So okay. don't get any, like, terrible ideas in your head. Okay. Um, is it an endless runner? It is not an endless runner. Okay. Ooh, that seems kind of loud. Can we mix that down? I guess I can do it by hand. There, there we, we go. go. Okay. So this game is a little bit, I don't know if the developer actually actually describes it this way, but the way that I think about it is... Um, you, should, you should goo for it, by the way. <laughs> it's almost like a one-button Super Meat Boy, and I'll explain to you what that means. So the only button in the game is tapping, and if you tap and hold, like he did those wall jumps automatically. All I had to do was hold. Oh, and if you if you timed that properly at the apex of that jump, you would have hit the bottom of that platform and exactly. actually gotten up there to get the, the special crystal or whatever it was. And so it's all about, um, you know, you have a limited amount of time. There's a timer running down at the top, and I'm already not going to get the gold medal time. Like, this game doesn't F around. So you might as well just hit that restart so, button. So, like, when I don't press anything, he's bouncing back and forth on his own. And then when I hold down, then you can do the wall jumps and do the jumping. So um, I think that's smart. I like it when, when uh, I mean, it, it's a challenge to automate the right elements, yeah. right? Yep. And so I got, um, like, I feel like I got through that level pretty fast, right? 39 seconds, but I didn't earn, I earned two of, like, the seven medals that you need to earn in every given stage. And so that was the first stage. It gets much harder, you know, with enemies and, uh, you know, other things that you need to avoid or that can kill you. But it's got that one sort of... Do you actually have an attack or no, how, you do you, how do you deal with enemies? You just avoid them? Yeah, you just avoid them. Okay. And so, like, you need to fit through, like, there's little things like Meat Boy, like, getting through that little gap is, like, not always as easy as you think it might be. And so there's awards for getting through a level in a certain amount of time, collecting all the little collectibles, and uh, that's basically it. Charlie, what's your snap judgment? Would you play Smuck and Moxie? It's two ninety nine. I would actually. I like I like their decision making. I don't think they went overly complex on the control inputs. I think they they give you control over the right elements there. I think that looks really cool. Yeah, and it's really smooth and fast paced. You know, so all of that really works well. Next up is uh, Gun Brothers 2 from Glue Mobile. Um, this is a freemium game like all of Glue's games. I'm smirking, but it's specifically because it's called Gun Bros. Yeah, I mean, it's Gun Bros, not Gun Brothers. You're yeah. right. Um, they are very clear on that point. There's it no is. period it's, there. It's Gun Bros. That's not even... That period is... <laughs> the bros is not, not a short. short. Yes, there's no shortened version there. It's bros. They are bros. Um, so Gun Bros is freemium. It's a freemium twin stick shooter. We'll see if it loads. I guess it's calling mom. It's like these little funny loading screen things are funny, except... <laughs> When it like Except doesn't when load. it takes a long time, and then it's like, okay. well, maybe it's a really long distance call. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how phones work. Maybe we won't be able to show you Gun Brothers too. Um, I don't know. This maybe. is actually the game. the The pay to play part is to actually play it. Yeah, the, you <laughs> have to. You can pay to make the loading screen take only five seconds. It's it's free to seconds. download the title screen. Oh, here we go. Nope, we're still. No. Oh, I'm sorry. Now it's loading the menus. Wow, that was really slow. That was not this slow last night. It might be, um, you know, we're a little bit farther away from You need to defrag your iPad. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> so um, it's a freemium twin stick shooter, uh, and it's really kind of aggressive on the freemium stuff. Like, you need to grind a lot. And, like, some of the guns, like, I'm like, how much does this gun cost? It's like $8 in real money. Okay. But, I, you know, you can play. I did five missions last night for free, you know, and you're kind of fine to ignore that stuff if you want to ignore that stuff. And you by know. grind, you mean you just play stages over and over again yeah. until you have enough, essentially, to get to the, to the next one so you can actually survive. Exactly. And so, you know, move, with, move on the left side of the screen, aim on the right side of the screen. Um, enemies are going to pop up. You know, this is sort of an earlier stage, so there's just a couple bad guys there. You know, the are the controls pretty responsive? Yeah. I mean, your character is moving slow, but that's because I'm really early in the game. Um, you know, you earn new items and equipment that, like, up your speed, up your health. You know, and by the end of the game, this would be a very, very fast-paced, frantic shooter. Like, it's only kind of slow because we are early in the game right now. And that my little teammate is controlled. Uh, he's AI-controlled. So it's turning into kind of a bullet hell experience here as the yeah. little projectiles fly all over the place. Yep, that's exactly right. Um, I'm earning, so the way that this game works is you earn crates as you do things, and there's like different levels of crates, like bronze, silver, and gold, and uh, the quality of the crate determines, like there's a gambling element, right? Like you're not earning guaranteed, like a silver crate is maybe 10% likely to include like a really badass item, for example. 
And uh, I don't know. I don't it looks even... like you're going through that pretty quickly. But yeah, as you said, it was uh, you know it was an early stage. Yeah, and uh, so that's Gun Bros too. It's freemium, um, you know, so you can download it for yourself and make up your mind and see if uh, you want to download it. The game that I think is maybe the most exciting title today, um, Charlie. We'll see what you think. Is Major Magnet? Um, oh, I've played this. Okay. I have actually. Okay, so maybe you can tell me. I'll be in the captain seat, and then. They're the driver's seat, and you can tell me what you think about this. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, it's uh, it, you're basically just trying to make yourself move around magnets as you're doing. Um, and to do that, you're actually tapping on the magnets to kind of activate them. So you have to basically uh, try to maintain momentum and, and time it just oh. right. So, oh, God. <laughs> See, so exactly that. So if you if you disconnect from a magnet at the wrong time, you know, you'll kind of go flying off the stage and you have to restart. But if you can time it j properly to disconnect right at the right spot when you're flying around those magnets, then you can basically snake through the whole stage, yeah. collect a bunch of coins, and get high scores. So, so it, it, there, it's it's pretty simple to control, yeah. but there's a really... It, it feels like there is a skill gap there. So that you will have a noticeable difference between, you know, a rookie and, uh, and, and a more experienced player. There's a lot to actually Shoot. learn. You can feel yourself getting yeah. better while you play the game. Yeah, I mean, the actual nuts and bolts of what I'm doing here is uh, I'm just tapping on one of these magnets, and then he connected to it and then the time that I let go determines you know where and how he flies through the environment yeah and there there's some other elements too like you can uh, if you swipe I think across him while he's in the air you'll do kind of an air dash yeah, just there like you that. go okay so that's major magnet I like this game a lot if that looked a little fuzzy it's because we're playing on an iPad and that is an iPhone only game so we are blowing up the screen there to show you that yeah I think that's a really cool title um, oh god someone's gonna be really mad at me for pronouncing this wrong but there's the comic book series you Yusagi Yojimbo? Yusagi? I'm going to go with that. Um, and I guess it's pretty well known. I mean, I haven't read any of the comics. It's about this uh, uh, rabbit ronin, I guess, basically. He's a samurai. And uh, this game is, uh, you know, I like the art style a lot. I like the cartoony part of it. And it's just a brawler. Like, it's, uh, you know, you have a heavy attack and a light attack. Um, and these are uh, virtual buttons on screen that you can see there. Yep, that's right. That and Justin uh, is tapping. There are different combos. Um, you know, he's got sort of a special move where you can spin around. Um, and that's strictly on movement where you did that, right? You, that was on the virtual joystick? Yeah, that was. Um, but there are different. Like, I'm very early in the game, and so after every level, like, I'm unlocking one or two new combos. So right now I can just kind of, like, whack guys. But, uh, you know, I'm assuming that the longer I play, you know, I will be unlocking different combo moves and whatnot. Yeah, I guess that's kind of those wait-and-see wait experiences so you can find out if, if the gameplay really does kind of evolve into something uh, really unique or if it just kind of stays like the same thing. Yeah, I mean, I haven't been incredibly impressed with this so far. I like the style a lot. I feel like the combat is a little bit clunky, but, you know, I like it enough to continue giving it a shot. Um, let me see. I think there's one more. Maybe so far, I'm pretty much just on board with Major Magnet. Major Magnet's really fun. Brickwood is a pretty clever little puzzle game that I want to make sure we talk a little bit about, too. Um, it's a little weird. I think it's like three bucks, which is... It's, it's, getting, may, it's getting up there. Yeah, that might be a little bit too much. Um... It's a clever puzzle game where uh, you have to get all that liquid that's in one spot and get it into the green circle, and then it follows gravity. So it's like that's the first stage, and you delete the bricks by doing that. But how they sort of mix it up... Yeah, what, what, gets, it, what gets in your way? So you can also build bricks. So like you can do this to like build a spot for the bricks to go. And the water doesn't just have to pass through those spaces. It has to stay in those spaces. Right, so it's like now I built a little reservoir for it, and it's going to sit... Oh, but look, see, I didn't get enough, so you have to do a clever... Like, this is the first stage. I'm glad I picked this one at random, because it's actually the first one that has, like, a proper puzzle element. So is there is there more water in that top reservoir yeah, so than there needs out. to be? So we fill that one up, and now we need to build a little spot for the water to go. <laughs> and now... Yeah, so now that should flow over there. So a, a little bit of a maybe where's my water vibe yeah, in terms of how you redirect things. And the game gets really wild um, a little bit later on. This is the first stage that teaches you you can switch the gravity. Um, so I tap up, and then the gravity is at the top, and then I tap back down, and, and then, then the gravity is at the back. bottom. And then you just flip it back, yeah, okay. And so then puzzles get much more advanced later on. Um, with like, well, this is another one that's actually pretty easy, but like, you know, gravity you just, that way. You turn way, the stage around, okay. Gravity that way, and so then I didn't get it all up there, and yada yada yada. So that's Brickwood. It's two ninety nine. Seems like a good progression if they keep introducing elements like that, uh, the graph switching and things like that. Yep, I, it, you know, I completely agree. And you know what? We're gonna do something that I've actually not done on the App Store update. Oh where my god! This game called I've I. Every other day before we record, 
um, I test the games, and this one I have not played. So oh, so you, you you do not understand what <laughs> what is going to be happening. <laughs> That's here. exactly right. We're we're doing it live. Um, oh my God, stage one. There's no words on it. <laughs> Tap the ground to walk. Okay, that seems pretty easy. And so much. This is a game called Munch Time HD. Um, it normally costs a dollar or two, and today it's free. So okay, it looks like it's just kind of a little cute. So you just basically have to get in range of the things that you're eating there. And it looks like it's sort of got the swinging mechanic with the flowers. Whoop. And you're obviously getting three stars, just like, you know, it's mandatory, and every iPhone game has to have some sort of three-star <laughs> system in it. Um, the cops actually come and arrest you. <laughs> That's, it's know. illegal? Okay. So oh, what did you – so you, you've got some sort of floaty element? Um, so, no, I just ate, it looked like I ate a blue thing, and then that activated the blue flowers. So it's like looks like that maybe there's a little bit of a puzzle element, too. Okay, you can definitely see some cut the rope influence on this. Yeah, so this is cool, and this is free today. I would say download it. It seemed pretty cool. Yeah, that could be good depending on, on how it progresses. But, yeah, certainly a good early impression. Yeah, I'm also, so I'm not going to jump into Battle of the Bulge, but that's the sort of historical war game uh, is about the Battle of the Bulge. Um, it's just a bad game to demo, so I'm not going to show it to people. But it's normally ten dollars. It's six ninety nine. Um, so if you like sort of hardcore deep strategy games, check that out. Um, I'm also not going to jump into Mini Gore Two, but it received its another big content update. There's a new playable character, um, some new stuff to look at there. So if you own Mini Gore, um, you know make sure you update that app. Civilization Revolution um, was also updated, and this the cool thing about this update is they added uh, multiplayer. Oh wow, nice. Right, and so it's on sale for a dollar. Um, I think it normally five ninety nine. I'm not sure what the base price is. Um, multiplayer is an in-app purchase, but I mean that's pretty. That's cool. Man. That's a like, nice feature. Yeah. I wonder. So, do they have like save state if you're in a multiplayer game, and let's say you can't finish it? Um, you know, it's nice to be able to save that game and yeah. return to it later. Yeah, I guess I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, the, the update isn't just multiplayer. They also added uh, Mediterranean units and buildings, Asian units and buildings, new European units and buildings. Um, you know, it's sort of like a proper expansion for this game. Yeah, no, um, that's a really cool update, especially because uh, Civ Rev, I mean, that's a quality game. Yeah. It's, it's not quite the, the full Civ experience, um, you know, if you're I, looking for that. If, I think if Civ Rev is great. Um, it's perfect for a touchscreen. You know, it's perfect for a mobile device, you know, pick up and play and play on the go. Like, I like full Civ too, but, you know, on an iPad, you know, Civ Rev is a really, really great option. For sure. That is today's App Store update for uh, Friday. I'm so terrible with dates. The 22nd? <laughs> yes, it is, the, it is the 22nd. Uh, if you check out one game today, my suggestion would be to make it Major Magnet. But, you know, the advantage of this video is if any of them caught your eye. You can you can jump on it and buy them. If you're watching this on YouTube, we will have download links below this video. Um, if you're on IGN, make sure you're watching the app or reading the App Store update that's on IGN Wireless each day. Charlie, thank you for joining me. No problem. I agree with your major magnet assessment. <laughs> and thank you to everybody that's watching. Um, I'm sure you're at home in your underwear right now, just killing time. So um, debatable again. Yeah, we'll we'll be back on Monday, guys. Have a nice weekend.